welcome back to another english online session today i am going to explain you the seventh chapter from the textbook snapshot the name of the chapter is birth birth is an excerpt from the citadel that revolves around andrew manson who just graduated out of a medical school it is an account of how the newly graduated medical practitioner helped in bringing joe and susan's child into this world despite going through a tough time with his girlfriend kristin so this chapter narrating the story of a young doctor who was just graduated andrew manson and his struggle even though he was uh, just not going through a good time a tough time because uh, he got relationship issues uh, with his girlfriend uh, christian and uh, as a professional a doctor he just uh, tried his level best to save the newborn child of uh, joe and uh, susan so that particular venture is described here the chapter birth now let me give you a brief outline about the writer aj cronin his uh, full name is archibald joseph cronin he was born on 19 july 1896 and died on 6 january 1981 was a scottish physician and uh, novelist his best known novels the novel citadel a tales of a scottish doctor in a welsh mining village who later schools up the career ladder in london cronin had seen the venues as a medical inspector of uh, mines and later as a doctor in a harley street the book promoted still controversial ideas on medical ethics and helped to inspire the national health service another popular mining novel of his set in the northeast of england is the stars look down both have been filmed as uh, have haters castle the keys of the kingdom and the green years his novella country uh, doctor investigated a long running Uh, BBC radio and a TV series Dr Finlay's case book which was uh, revised many years later so these are the works of uh, AJ Cronin very popular literary figure now let me explain you the particular lesson birth when andrew reached his house at uh, around 12 at night he caught the sight of a joe morgan climbing up and then down uh, the stairs between his small clinic and the entrance to his house on seeing andrew the heavily built driller joe heaved a sigh of relief joe morgan expressed how pleased he was to see dr andrew he tells andrew how he has a uh, been waiting uh, there for him for about an hour now joe's wife needs andrew to examine her even before the time of her child's birth she is in a critical situation on hearing this andrew had a sudden flashback of the unpleasant night he had with his girlfriend christine but without wasting further time he told joe to wait outside while he got this bag so here is the situation two main characters the central character of the story andrew manson he is a young graduate medical a medical student a graduated now and uh, this other person is joe morgan on who working in a mine he is a driller and the situation is his wife need medical assistance she is going to give birth to a baby and it's a long time uh, wish of joe morgan and he is tensed we can uh, understand from the narration of uh, his attitude from that we can understand that he is terribly tensed 
and when he saw this uh, Andrew, he he was relieved a lot and uh, asking him to accompany uh, to his home. When he came out, they both began walking towards number tall Blaina Terence, uh, where Joe's wife was. It was a cool night and the streets were silent which made it mysterious. Andrew, who generally is full of life and spirit, was silent and lacked energy. Andrew had no idea what the night had in store for him and uh, that it was going to influence his life in blindly. They both walked silently till they reached uh, number 12. As soon as uh, they reached, Joe revealed to Andrew that he does not intend on coming in, but he showed uh, full confidence in Andrew. Joe's voice was tense and under pressure. Andrew entered the gate alone. He took the stairs, which were of rather small width, and reached a bedroom. So here uh, Dr. Andrew accompanied Joe and uh, that was a very chill night, very cool and uh, this man because of the relationship issues Andrew was a little bit dull, lack of energy, he is always uh, full of uh, spirit and energy, he is a very active person but today he is also keeping very quiet and they reached that particular address and Joe Morgan is very tensed so he was not ready to get into that house and uh, from his uh, attitude from his expressions Andrew could understand that Joe Morgan has complete confidence in Andrew and Andrew is now entering the house and entered a room the bedroom was not lavish or luxurious, but it was neat inside the room where Joe Morgan's mother-in-law, a woman of around 70 with a larger than the average height and grey hair along with a plump midwife to assist the child birth. The midwife was also of an elderly age. They both sat beside Mrs. Morgan waiting for Andrew. The sweet old lady, Mrs. Morgan's uh, mother, offered Andrew a cup of tea. She addressed Andrew as a bash which is used while displaying affection. Realizing that the old lady might be worried about him leaving during the waiting period, he gave her a gentle smile and comforted her by assuring that he will not go away. The fact that she anticipated the period of waiting and was worried about him running away made Andrew realize that she was wise and had plenty of experience. So here he reached uh, the room and found two elder ladies. Uh, one is uh, Joe Morgan's uh, mother-in-law, the mother of uh, Mrs. Morgan and another one is uh, a midwife who is uh, uh, assist in child birth. So here uh, they understood that it takes some time. There is a waiting period. So uh, Mrs. Morgan prepared a tea for Andrew and she was doing it purposely and uh, just uh, having a conversation with him. From that, uh, uh, Andrew understood that uh, she is worried that uh, Andrew leave uh, immediately because a waiting period is there. He may tell them that uh, he may come back uh, uh, in the morning. So she was uh, doing everything to keep him there. And Andrew understood that and uh, assured the old lady um, he is not going away. He won't run away. Uh, before finishing all these things he just assured uh, with a smile that uh, he would wait here till everything ends he sipped the tea in the kitchen downstairs uh, though he was mentally and physically exhausted because of the unpleasant meeting with christian he knew it was impossible for him to even get an hour's worth of sleep if he went home Although he in uh, 
his new line or practice he was aware that the situation was critical and called for his uh, attentiveness strangely he felt a bit active and decided to stay at the place till his duty was fulfilled he went upstairs after almost an hour to check upon mrs morgan he sat near the kitchen fire upon coming back it was that time of the night where everything was still andrew had his tea and uh, though he was uh, mentally and physically exhausted exhausted means very tired because of the unpleasant meeting with uh, christian his girlfriend uh, he knew it was impossible for him to even get an hour worth of sleep if he went to home even if he uh, go to home he could not sleep because uh, the situation is a little bit worst so he was a uh, very new in practice medical practice and he aware that uh, the situation is uh, very critical they need uh, his attentiveness uh, so all those things made him a little bit uh, active uh, strangely he is even though he is exhausted he felt like uh, he is a little bit active and he decided to Uh, fulfill his duty then only uh, he should leave from that place the atmosphere is uh, very quiet the only sound that came was of the ticking clock joe's footsteps from the outside and from almost uh, extinguished piece of coal while he sat in the kitchen mrs morgan's mother sat in front of him wearing her black dress she looked at him constantly with her uh, a wise eyes that uh, were uh, filled with hope clearly the earlier unpleasant moments with christian had taken a toll on his mind he was still being haunted by the incident that took place at uh, cadif station he began thinking of his friends and acquaintances who have had uh, bad experiences in love and marriage he thought of bramwell uh, the woman uh, he loved had cheated on him he contemplated upon the relationship of uh, edward page who was committed to a dominating woman uh, named uh, blood ben uh, he reflected upon how denny is living away from his wife not so happily so uh, he was uh, present there still his mind was not ready to uh, accept the situation because he had a break up with his girlfriend and he was just thinking about his friends and acquaintances life uh, also to get some peace of mind he was uh, trying to convince himself by recollecting that none of uh, his friends were uh, leading a good uh, marriage or uh, love life so it's very common it's not only to him but uh, many people are going through such situation by the time the uh, elderly lady mrs uh, morgan's mother she was just uh, trying to keep him occupied there uh, just uh, uh, wa- watchful uh, very attentive that uh, uh, he should not leave from the place trying to assist in every way all of this brought him to an inference uh, that made him cringe he wished to believe that uh, the institution of marriage was a cheerful one on that uh, guaranteed peace and uh, companionship he also had no other reason to believe otherwise with the christian's shining eyes in his mind he was undoubtedly undoubtedly facing a conflict with all his mind heart and soul in disagreement he thus rested his chin on his chest and pulled out his legs while he glanced at the fireplace he sat still for a few moments his mind was still preoccupied with the christian until uh, the old lady broke her silence she was thinking about something else uh, the old lady tells the doctor how worried susan was on uh, account of this complicated situation 
She even refused to have anesthesia if it were to affect the baby. So he was uh, in a conflict, mental conflict. He was trying to convince himself uh, by thinking about uh, the life of people around him. Many of them are uh, failed or even not happy with the marriage. This is one side of thought and the other side he is thinking about uh, his beautiful girlfriend Christian and uh, if God married uh, he, he may get a companionship, a good companionship and peace. Uh, so both thoughts, it's a conflict in his mind and uh, he was just uh, resting there and after some time this old woman just uh, brought the silence uh, just uh, trying to have a conversation and make him understand how important this situation to Joe Morgan and his family, his wife Susan. She even not ready to take anesthesia because it may affect the child they are expecting this baby. Because uh, they got this baby after a long waiting period and uh, Andrew is the only hope for them to save this baby and uh, the woman. She told him how interested she was in the child. The old lady corrects herself and says that all of them are invested in the child. Her eyes were filled with the warmth while she said this. The doctor, preoccupied with another set of worries, somehow cleared his mind and assured the old lady that the anesthetic would do no harm to either of them. Suddenly, they hear the voice of the midwife calling upon them. Andrew saw it's uh, already 3.30 and that uh, he shall begin with his procedure. Thus, he got up to go to the bedroom upstairs. It took him almost an hour to perform the surgery. It was a rather tough one. While the first rays of daylight came inside from the corner of the window, the Morgan uh, child was born. Unfortunately, the child was cold and chill. So he just uh, assured that uh, anesthetic will not affect uh, the uh, child or uh, its mother. So it's okay. And uh, the lady was expressing her expectation. Uh, how the whole family is expecting this child. Now Andrew trying to keep his personal worries away because he understood it's time to work and it's already 3.30. The midwife called them and uh, he went there and he started his procedure and uh, it's take a lot of time to perform his uh, surgery and with the first day of light it's almost uh, early morning and with that time and the child was born but unfortunately the child was uh, cold and still there is no movement from the child so it's a pathetic condition now i am stopping the explanation of this chapter here in the next uh, video next video lesson i will explain you how this man saved that particular child now read the text don't forget to have a dictionary while reading see you in the next class bye